Welcome back. Today in our Hiker Build series, we're going to tackle the question of curtains and privacy. So come along and be inspired. Congratulations, you've got your trailer, or it's at least on order. Now you're thinking about the curtains that you want to put up. First of all, you need to know that the glass portion of the window is 28 inches wide by 18 inches tall. When looking at curtains, there are three main things to consider. One, what kind of material are you going to use? Two, how are you going to mount it to the wall? Three, what do you hang it from? And a bonus, what are some non-traditional ways to cover your windows? First of all, what are you going to make your curtains out of? You can go as simple as buying some pre-made curtains. I have seen some people actually buy some kitchen towels and add some clips to those. You could purchase some custom-made curtains. Or the other option is to make some of your own. Once you have figured out what kind of material you're gonna use, now you need to figure out what you're gonna hang your curtain on. There are multiple options. You could purchase a dowel and hang the curtain from that. There are decorative curtain rods, but the one thing you need to consider with the decorative curtain rods is the dimension of the rod itself. You wanna make sure that it will fit into whatever mounting bracket that you use. You could always try a cafe curtain. You could also use a 90 degree wrap curtain rod. The next thing is how do I mount them to the wall? Command hooks tended to be the most popular choice that we saw. There are clear ones, there are white ones, silver ones, any color that you really want you can find. The biggest thing you need to consider when doing a command hook is to make sure that the rod that you pick out fits in the curve of the command hook. This is what we have done in our trailer, but we have found if we end up on a bumpy road, when we get to camp, the curtain has fallen off of the command hook. Another popular choice is to use simple cafe curtain rod and hardware. With this, the screws are real small, so you don't have to worry about it going through to the outside. The traditional 90 degree bracket also works well for hanging a curtain. And we can't forget about Velcro. What a simple way. Put one side on the wall and one side on the curtain, and there you go. It is up as easy as that. If we were to do it again, I would consider this option. They took a self-adhesive bracket that had a peg sticking up. Then they took a dowel, drill the hole in the dowel, and then put that hole right on the peg. Now that we've figured out what kind of material we're gonna use, what kind of rod, and how we're gonna mount it to the wall, how do you make it so the curtain moves from side to side? There are curtains that have grommets built right into them and you can use that grommet to move it from side to side. You could use curtain clip rings. It has a ring that would slide along the rod and then it has a clip that clips right to the top of the curtain. And then there's always the rod pocket. So with this, you end up sewing a little pocket, which would be an inch or two down from the top, and the rod is able to fit right into that pocket, and then it slides from side to side. Some people do one piece all the way across, other people will have it cut in the middle and it can be divided in half. And you could even use snaps to keep the curtain open. Now for the non-rod options that we saw while we were out visiting other hiker owners. This owner had a bracket on both ends that a hook could go on. So they took the ring clip and attached it to both ends and then can move the curtain from side to side. 
Some people had curtains that they were able to roll up and attach at the top to keep it open during the day. Or you could even buy custom made curtains from Talona Rustics um, that fit the windows perfectly. Then there are the people that have a clip at the bottom and at the top and they're able to fold the curtain in half um, when they want to have the window open. You could always do some blinds or roller shades. Then we found some people that use Reflectix. They cut it out to the right size and attached it with either some Velcro or put a little hole in the corner that they were able to attach the Reflectix to a hook. We have also made our own Reflectix covers. For us, we use it when we go camping in the shoulder seasons, in the fall or the spring, or it'd be great for those of you that like to camp in the winter. By doing these Reflectix covers, it helps keep the heat in and keep the cold out. And for those of you that have windows in your doors, here are some options of ways to cover the door. You can either have something hanging from the top, you can have the custom curtains, or something homemade. Well, what did you think? There were lots of great options there. Hope you were able to find something that you think would work for you. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to start a discussion with you down below. Until next time, remember, get out and do some camping. Bye.